Beneath the endless waves of golden sand in western China, a discovery has electrified the nation. After six relentless years of exploration and struggle, Chinese geologists have finally uncovered a super oil field hidden deep in the heart of the Taklamakan Desert, a find worth an estimated $600 billion. The reserves are staggering, over 1 billion tons of oil and gas, placing this desert treasure among the largest new fields under development in the world. Its exploration area stretches across 17,000 square kilometers, equivalent to the size of 14 districts of Los Angeles. Yet this discovery is no easy prize. The oil layers are buried at almost unimaginable depths of 7,500 to 10,000 meters underground, with some layers as thin as just 0.6 meters. These are ultra-deep, ultra-thin reserves that push the limits of modern drilling technology, posing questions that challenge even the most advanced engineers. How do you unlock energy from a treasure chest sealed several kilometers beneath shifting sands? And more importantly, what does this billion-ton discovery mean for China's future? The stage for this epic story is the Taklamakan Desert in Xinjiang. Known as the Sea of Death, it is China's largest desert and the world's second-largest shifting desert. It stretches a thousand kilometers from east to west and 400 kilometers from north to south, covering 330,000 square kilometers, an area nearly the size of Germany. To the naked eye, this landscape is nothing but desolation, a boundless ocean of dunes, heat, and silence. Yet beneath its barren surface lies a treasure trove of oil and gas that could power industries, cities, and entire nations. China's pursuit of this treasure dates back to the 1950s. At that time, the country's energy needs were almost entirely dependent on imports, leaving its economic future uncertain. Determined to change this, generations of geologists ventured into the desert with little more than their determination. They endured scorching heat that baked the sand, sandstorms that swallowed camps, and isolation that tested their spirit. But they pressed on, driven by a vision that one day China would stand on its own energy foundation. Their sacrifices began to bear fruit decades later. Between 1989 and 1992, the Taklamakan revealed its first major oil and gas fields, transforming this deadly desert into a land of energy and hope. Over the past decade alone, Chinese teams discovered 17 oil fields with reserves exceeding 100 million tons each, and 21 massive gas fields containing more than 100 billion cubic meters of natural gas. Together, these resources amounted to 8.6 billion tons of oil and 2.5 trillion cubic meters of gas. And yet, even these remarkable numbers pale in comparison to the most recent find, the Fumin Super Oil Field. Covering over 17,000 square kilometers, its reserves surpass 1 billion tons, making it one of the largest desert oil fields discovered in China in decades. For perspective, the world's largest oil field, Saudi Arabia's Gawar, holds 11.2 billion tons of reserves and produces 280 million tons annually. While the Fumin field is smaller in scale, its reserves alone could supply China's annual consumption of 350 million tons for two to three years. But the true challenge lies not in the quantity of oil, but in its inaccessibility. The reserves rest nearly 9,000 meters underground, comparable to standing at sea level and reaching for an apple perched atop an upside-down Mount Everest. These reservoirs are locked within fractured fault zones, distributed like hidden orchards buried deep under the earth, each one surrounded by crushing heat and colossal pressure. Extracting oil here is not just difficult, it borders on the impossible. To meet this challenge, Chinese engineers have pushed the boundaries of technology. They developed ultra-deep seismic exploration methods that act like a giant CT scan for the earth, peering through layers of rock and sand to reveal maps of hidden oil and gas. In the desert, engineers lay vast networks of sensors and signal generators, sending powerful waves deep underground. The echoes that return carry secrets of buried strata, faults, and caverns, which are then reconstructed into detailed three-dimensional images. This leap in technology has doubled the accuracy of fault identification at depths of 8,000 meters, shrinking errors from 30 meters to just 15, and allowing for 360-degree scans of underground formations. But mapping is only the beginning. To truly unlock the treasure, engineers had to invent ultra-deep, fast, and efficient drilling technologies. Drilling to depths of 8,000 or 9,000 meters is like carving a highway into the core of the earth. Along the way, teams face volcanic rock layers, fractures, and high-pressure water zones, 
any of which could derail operations and destroy years of work. Precision, innovation, and sheer determination are the only way forward. What emerges from this effort is more than oil. It is a story of perseverance, ingenuity, and the unyielding will of a nation determined to secure its future. The Taklamakan Desert, once feared as a barren wasteland, is now at the center of one of the most ambitious energy quests on Earth. And beneath its endless sands lies not only a billion tons of fuel, but also a symbol of how far China is willing to go to achieve energy independence and technological mass. Chinese engineers, confronted with some of the toughest geological and environmental barriers in the world, have developed an entire system of innovative solutions that push the boundaries of modern energy exploration. To address the enormous difficulties of ultra-deep drilling, they adopted an integrated geological engineering approach and pioneered a technology called Dynamic Seismic Profile Correction. This allows them to anticipate hidden dangers along drilling paths, detect obstacles far in advance, and make real-time adjustments to avoid costly setbacks. But predicting the path is only one part of the battle. The rocks buried thousands of meters below the surface are unimaginably hard dense, and resistant, making traditional drilling methods inefficient and often ineffective. To overcome this, Chinese experts designed a new hybrid drill bit that merges the strengths of roller cone bits and diamond bits, delivering both durability and cutting power. At the same time, they introduced the world's first high-precision measurement while drilling instruments, capable of surviving temperatures up to 200 degrees and pressures exceeding 200 MPA. These tools gave engineers the ability not only to survive the extreme underground conditions, but also to accelerate drilling, making rapid progress possible where once it seemed impossible. China's journey into the depths began with bold experiments. In 2020, they launched their first drilling project in the Fumin oil field. After more than 50 days of relentless work, engineers completed a well that stretched 7,660 meters deep into a carbonate formation dating back some 440 million years. On April 8th, the well was tested and produced 624 cubic meters of crude oil and 370,000 cubic meters of natural gas every single day, an achievement that confirmed China had broken into a new frontier of energy exploration. Yet, even with this milestone, production expansion was limited because of the sheer difficulty at such depths. By 2023, China doubled down with the Gula 3C project. This operation lasted more 14 days and reached an extraordinary 9,296 meters, setting the record for Asia's deepest horizontal oil well. This was a landmark achievement not just for China but for global drilling technology. A year later, the bar was pushed even higher. The Manson 807 well reached more than 8,800 meters in just 99 days, while the Manson 805 extended beyond 9,200 meters in only 112 days, two record-setting feats that demonstrated how far China's drilling efficiency had advanced in a short time. By April 2025, the Fumin oil field alone had completed 144 ultra-deep wells over 8,000 meters, with combined oil and gas production surpassing 20 million tons. Ambitious plans now aim for annual output to hit 5 million tons by the end of 2025 and double to more than 10 million tons by 2030. But Fumin is just the beginning. Hidden beneath the vast and unforgiving Taklamakan Desert lies the Tarim Basin, one of the most resource-rich, yet most difficult to access oil and gas regions on Earth. Current estimates show proven reserves of 17.8 billion tons, including 7.5 billion tons of oil, and 13 trillion cubic meters of natural gas. Even more staggering, nearly 85% of the oil here has not yet been proven, which means the true potential could be far greater. To put this in perspective, global oil consumption currently averages about 5 billion tons per year. This means that the Tarim Basin alone holds enough oil and gas to fuel the entire planet for three and a half years. If fully developed, these reserves could completely reshape China's energy landscape and significantly reduce its dependence on foreign imports. The challenge, however, is monumental. Unlike the Middle East, where desert oil reserves are vast yet relatively shallow, usually only 300 to 500 meters deep, the Tarim Basin is a nightmare for engineers. Its oil reservoirs are scattered, irregular in depth, and often buried more than 10,000 meters beneath the... The costs of drilling here are more than 10 times higher than in the Middle East, and time becomes a crushing factor as drilling progress is painfully slow. 
At depths of 8,000 meters, advancing half a meter per hour is already considered fast. Sometimes progress slows to just a few centimeters in 10 minutes. Historically, drilling such wells took over 200 days, though innovation has reduced the time to just over 100 days. Even so, it remains incredibly costly and far from efficient enough to support large-scale development. And then comes the danger. Beneath the desert, deadly hydrogen sulfide gas lurks, a substance so toxic that even a small leak can cause catastrophic accidents, threatening workers' lives and devastating the fragile desert environment. This adds an additional layer of risk to every operation. Drilling in the Tarim Basin is not just about reaching oil. It is about surviving the journey and doing so safely enough to make the process sustainable. Yet the stakes are too high to ignore. Since the start of the 21st century, global oil demand has surged. With its 1.4 billion people, China has long been one of the largest oil importers in the world. Forecasts show that demand will continue to climb, potentially rising by nearly 20% in the coming years. For China, this means one thing. Energy security has become a strategic priority. To reduce reliance on external suppliers and shield itself from geopolitical risks, Beijing is determined to accelerate exploration and development in ultra-deep oil and gas fields. However, the scale of development depends entirely on whether the technologies can mature further, whether costs can be reduced, and whether the dangers of drilling in such extreme conditions can be contained. The Taklamakan Desert may seem desolate and lifeless, but beneath its sands lies a treasure trove of energy that could power China's future. The question is not whether the reserves exist, they do, but whether humanity has the capability, technology, and determination to extract them safely and economically. China is pushing the boundaries of science and engineering to answer that question, step by step, record by record well by well. What do you think? Will China unlock the full potential of the desert and rewrite the global energy map? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss our upcoming projects and stories. We'll keep bringing you more fascinating insights into the race for energy, innovation, and the future of global power.